Hey guys, how are we all doing today? Please excuse my hair. It's driving me bananas too. I'm totally gonna get it done next week because it's just, ugh, it's it. Look at all the grays. Like they're all just pinging up everywhere and my skin is just awful because I've been partying far too much. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is my new bedside table. Yay! The color I have used on this guys is Abusan Blue. I think that's how you pronounce it and I have used a clear wax. And this is gonna be the most basic, simple, easiest chalk paint tutorial ever, because it is. Because it doesn't need to be scary. It doesn't need to be scary, it doesn't need to be difficult. I'm just gonna show you guys today how to do a very basic, simple side table. So stick around. Right, today's colour is Abusan Blue. I hope that is the correct way to pronounce it. Sorry if it's not. Um, I have sanded this little side table because the varnish was really quite awful. It was awful and I wanted just to make this a really simple, basic project and just keep the finish really nice and flat and neat, really. So we're going to do the usual Liz technique, which is just taking any regular paintbrush and just slapping it on. And by slapping it on, I mean follow the grain of the wood and just paint it like you would any normal project. Just make sure everything is nicely covered with the paint and then you can leave it to dry. And you can see, like I'm touching the top of it because by the time that I've painted the top and the legs, the top's already dry. So I just leave that to dry until all of it is dry, you know, really nice and dry. And then just slap a second coat on this. Um, this project was really, really thirsty. And by thirsty, I th think I mean like it just absorbed so much paint. Like this just, I don't know, for some reason it just absorbed the paint. I think it's because I sanded it and didn't put a primer on. But yeah, you know, it's all trial and error. I have not been taught this, I'm just teaching myself. Now, we are gonna use the clear wax with just a ripped up old towel. Sorry about the camera being moved there. Just wanted to get somewhat of a better angle. I'm not sure if it is. But as I said, just take your towel and your clear wax and just rub it in. And you can already see, like, it just changes the color of the paint. It changes the texture of the paint. It is amazing. I love it. And this is the first time I've been this restrained. I'm not doing any distressing on this project. I'm not doing anything fancy. All I want is good old blue with some clear wax over it. I just want it to look nice and fresh. So guys, I hope you liked that we quick video. It's easy. Like, honestly, like, we're all just learning, but this technique is definitely the most easiest, and I just love it. I just think, for a dollar fifty, oh my god, it looks so cool, and I'll put a picture up. I have a picture that I've put up on my Instagram account with this little side table, my new headboard. I'll try and find it. I don't think it needs the dark wax. I tried the dark wax underneath, which is that there. I just, I didn't like it. I know, shocker, that Liz didn't like the dark wax, but I just wanted something really simple and clean and easy, like, and I think that's it. So if you like that guys, give it a thumbs up, leave me your thoughts, or please subscribe. I am the former Miss M and I wish I was a rich girl. Bye!